the perfect gift for raccoon lovers and Marvel fans alike. Hello everyone, MMC fan here, and welcome to another Marvel Movie Collection figurine review. Today we're taking a look at issue 120, which was released earlier this month. So for issue 120, we have Rocket Raccoon in his Avengers Endgame look. It was released originally on the 7th of January 2021. It's in 116 scale, 11.1 centimeters tall, and weighs 184 grams. RRP was 14.99, and it comes with the usual 16-page magazine. As this is a brand new release, there's currently no problem picking it up, but I predict it will be highly sought after eventually. But currently in stock on the web shop, in stock on Forbidden Planet, uh, it hasn't been released in HMV uh, and it occasionally appears on eBay already. So for now it's common, but this might become a lot more rare in the future. As always, I won't talk through the release pattern in detail, but feel free to pause the video to see if this issue is confirmed for your region. I imagine they'll bring this one to HMV, heavyweights, re-releases, all that kind of thing in the future, but as it's quite new, it's currently only in the main collection. So here he is on the turntable in all his glory, and I'm just going to say that I adore this figure and am thrilled to add it to my lineup. There is so much going for this one. The size is spot on with the other Avengers. He is suitably small, but the amount of rubble below him has been included to ensure that you still get your money's worth. And this also prevents him from being lost on display because he's not around everyone's feet. He's actually the similar height to everyone else now, which is great. The sculpt is hugely detailed for such a small character as well. The guns are great. He's got the goggles. The scarf is awesome. It actually hangs down off the back of the model rather than just being painted on. The texture on the tail is great. Even the rubble has had some effort go into it. Like you can you can tell that that's part of the Avengers building. It's really really good. The paintwork is phenomenal for an Eagle Moss product, especially. This is the best painted figure I've had in months. There's no bleeding. The eye transfers are completely straight. The red lines on his outfit follow the sculpt perfectly. The goggles go all the way around the head. He's got these pads on his wrist. He's got a belt. It, it's all perfect. Really, really pleased. It's also a massive step up from the original. The main advantage with this one is how much more expressive it is. The eyes are transfers rather than just being empty sockets. And the scheming grin is awesome. And I love how they've given him little fangs. Is that what you call them on a raccoon? I don't know. He's got teeth. He's smiling anyway. Um, he really looks like the character from the film. He looks smug. He looks snarky. And the other one just looked a bit empty really. It's also a very heavy figure. The rubble is not hollow at all. It's 100% resin and it comes on a larger base than usual too to allow for that. For reference, it's the same size as the base they used for issue 88 Iron Spider. I honestly have nothing bad to say about it. I'm going to be honest, I'm biased as Rocket is one of my all-time favourite characters, which is a view shared by my partner and my family. Um, so we all love Rocket, but this has been the strongest addition to the collection in ages. If you're on the fence, jump off that fence and buy it because it's readily available now and it won't be forever. So I would definitely recommend picking it up as soon as you possibly can. It's well worth the $14.99 as they've put effort into making it worth the money with the additional rubble and making him a good height. This is how you do a small character well, not like Goose. Goose needed to be with someone else really, in my opinion. Plus, this is also the first time Rocket has entered the main collection. So for many collectors that perhaps weren't able to get the subscriber bonus as it's tricky to find, it will be the first and possibly only opportunity to add this fan favourite character to their lineup. And I love that. If you're going to do a repeat, you do it like this. Here he is alongside the original Rocket and Teen Group. As you can see, there's so much more life in this new one and having him displayed higher up makes for a much better piece overall. And here he is with some of his new Avenger buddies. He compliments them perfectly. I love how markedly different everyone looks. I think that's really cool. The only negative, I suppose, is the existence of this figure probably means we won't ever get an Iron Patriot Mark II that has Rocket on the shoulder, which is a shame because that would have looked awesome. But never mind, that doesn't stop this one from being awesome in its own right. For the takeaway, full marks across the board. I will rarely do this for the official ones because I'm usually very picky, you'll learn that quite quickly, but I love this particular one if you hadn't already guessed, and if there's nothing that I would change, then there's nothing I can dock points for. In terms of the leaderboard, it was really close between this one and Mark 85 Iron Man, but Rocket wins as he's straight from the film. He's not based on incorrect concept art or anything. Everything is super accurate. So of the three official figures that I've reviewed so far, he now takes the top spot. 
As always, thank you for watching. You can get all the latest Marvel Movie Collection news by following my Instagram, Facebook, subscribing right here on YouTube, and joining the discussion in the Facebook group too. No need to pack a suitcase for my next review. Keep on collecting.